Hi, Tammy C. Walker, Life Coach, Therapist, Social Worker. Hit subscribe and hit like for me. Today I want to talk to you about how our failures can help us. So many of us are just so terrified of failing or looking bad. If we fail in a business, everybody's going to laugh at us. If we don't do well in school, no one's going to think we're smart or we're a failure. If the relationship or marriage doesn't work, we damn ourselves to damnation. But the truth of the matter is, every time we fail, we are learning something about life. Even when we fail in business, that next business venture that you get into, you'll already know how to do a business plan. You'll know about financials. You'll know about putting your board together. So it's not a lost opportunity. Sometimes it's just not the right time for these things to flourish. Maybe you gave up too quick. Maybe you were distracted. Maybe it just wasn't the right niche or market. But once you've started one business, you know you can start two and three and four. And that's the beauty of being a business owner. You don't have to stop at just one thing. So don't beat yourself up when something doesn't launch the way you think it should go. I remember selling Avon and it just took off. It did really well for me. I had people under me and it was it was really cool to watch my own business grow. Hey, it was just Avon, but Avon has cute products and cute clothes and like purses and different things. And Avon is a staple among many people. They've been buying the products for over a hundred years. But I felt really proud to have that business and to have people under me. I remember becoming a life coach in 2010 and I wanted all of these clients and I'm so glad I didn't get them because I wasn't ready. I was not ready, but I did start doing workshops. And my workshops were not packed, but I was so grateful to get in front of two, three, ten people. For someone to come out and pay money to hear me um, speak or talk about mental health or talk about creating um, juices or using essential oil, it was just a blessing and an honor. So every part of your life, even the things you fail at, it should make you greater later. For, for example, with me and dating, back in, I got a divorce in 99, so I began to date in 01, 2000, just kept dating, and I was just a hot mess. You know, I, I was impatient. I picked, well, some of the guys picked me, of course, but it was just not good matches at times. I was trying to force them to be this and do that, and it was a hot mess, you all, and I take blame for a lot of it because I wasn't healthy. Now I know to lay back and relax and don't be too much like me where sometimes I can be too laid back and that can be a disadvantage too. You want to kind of be in the middle, not over the top, raw beating the guy, but not so laid back that you're not getting your needs met. So I guess you got to have that balance. But even when you fail in relationships, as, as bad as it feels and as hurt as my little poor heart can be um, broken, <laughs> but it's still a learning experience for me. So I think we're always learning until we leave this earth. I don't want you to beat yourself up when you fail at something, but one thing you want to do is see it through until the end. I'm telling you, going back to school, getting my master's degree at 45, I think it was one of my biggest accomplishments besides what, graduating from high school, getting my bachelor's, but my master's, it really meant something, not because of the statue or whatever, but because I did it in social work, something that's near and dear to my heart. I put my blood, sweat, and tears in that. And it just is an amazing feeling to be able to study something that you're passionate about. So I want you to embrace your failures. Think about what you failed at, but turn it around and turn it into a lesson. What did I learn from that? I do notice when relationship fails, we often blame the other person. He did this and she did that and she didn't do this. And I told her this, you know what? What did Tammy do? What did I not do? What did I overdo? The reason why I do that is because I'm the only person I can change. I can't change the other person, but I can change me. It takes two to tangle. Here I go again. I said that in my other video, but it does take two. And you can't always blame the other person for the rights and the wrongs, whether well, it be the wrongs in that case, but you just want to take responsibility. That's what I'm trying to say. So when you do fail at something, what is the lesson in that failure? 
Is it really a failure? It's probably a lesson learned. Don't beat yourself up, but don't let fear of failure stop you from getting started. You have to start somewhere and keep going, keep going, keep going. I remember wanting to quit school. I had three classes left, couldn't pay my rent. I was doing Uber. I was working 20 hours. I was scraping up money and I was getting at the end of my rope. I was like, look, I need to make my money. I'll go back to school and finish these last three classes next year. And my teacher was like, you can't quit. You have three classes left. And I kept hearing that in my head. By Thanksgiving, I got a $10,000 stipend, me and 14 other students, and it pushed me through. I got a check each month for six months, and it pushed me through. So I want you to remember what happened to me. That just happened in 2017. So it can happen for you. Stay faithful. Stay focused. The Fs. Do not let fear of failure stop you. Start somewhere. Write a paragraph if you want to write a book. Start your business plan for your business. Just um, get out there and network. If you want to date, go out there. Get out there to the bookstore. Get out there and get around sports. Um, you know, just say hi to different people. Don't let fear of that divorce or that failed relationship just stop you altogether. Tammy C. Walker, Life Coach. Social worker therapist. Hit subscribe, hit like. I keep coming with more videos. This channel is a blessing to me and it's a blessing, I hope, to others. And I'm getting new people that I'm following. I've been having to follow YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed my videos and think about some things that I say. Have a great day and get out there and don't let fear of failure stop you. Okay, bye.